Kuya here. I'm watching Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV, very educative program. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bless up, Aya. Hey guys, you ever hear about Live for Love TV? I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Check it out, it's a bomb. Welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today's the 24th day of the ninth month of the 23rd year inside the 21st century. Hope you're doing extremely well out there. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about a, a man in the UK, United Kingdom, and his name is Mr. Richard Maidley, M-A-D-E-L-E-Y, Richard Maidley. You can look him up if you don't know who he is. He's a morning talk show host in the UK. I think probably one of their most popular talk show programs they have in the morning. I'm not sure if he's the one that took over from Piers Morgan or not, but I believe it's the same program or, or an affiliate program. I'm talking about him because he had an interview with a Guyanese president, Guyanese president. And in that interview, to say he lost his cool would be a complete and utter understatement. And the interview, you can go back and look again, as I say, was basically talking about reparations. And the Guyanese president was talking about the reparations that are due to all the former slave and colonial countries, such as Guyana, of the British Empire and the other countries that were all also involved in Europe. So as he as the conversation um, went on and the Guyanese president you know spoke eloquently about why and the reasoning and how the money has gone down from generation to generation to generation we call it generation of wealth. Well some of the generation of wealth that the Europeans have and the British have is slavery generation wealth. So he was talking about that and Richard Maidley and this is what's so amazing about this man is he lost his call for no reason whatsoever and I'm saying the only way you can lose your call on, on a conversation like this because this conversation has been going on for years and many people have been interviewed about it and talked about it you have to be a, a, a hard and, I, and I'm saying this without no apology a hardcore racist as far as I am concerned no apology when I say that he's a hardcore racist because it, it, it bit him to his core. We're talking about, you know, monies um, from slavery times. And he can disagree with it. Many Europeans disagree with giving money and saying it was back in the past. But to lose your call in your interview, not in somebody's interviewing you, but it's in your interview. You're the master of the interview. And for you to be interviewing somebody and lose your call to the point where you actually bang the desk. And if you go back and watch what he banged the desk about, it was that they, not only was the Guyanese president saying that money should be, you know, rep, rec, you know, given to the countries. He was also saying that a gesture, some sort of gesture, should be given by the by the royal family for what happened for slavery and some sort of gesture. Now, a gesture. What's a gesture? A gesture could be anything, but for some reason, Richard Maley banged the desk and said, "What kind of gesture do you want? Do you want them to give you give back the palace? I mean, <laughs> that that's his." own words that wasn't the guy in his presence word he didn't ask for any palace how the hell can you you take a palace and bring it and, and take it somewhere so where, where he got this from is just to show you his kind of mentality somebody asked for a gesture and he he banged the, the table and remember he's talking to a president of a country could you imagine him talking to a french president could you imagine him speaking to an american president or let's go so far let's could you imagine him speaking to any president that was that was european of european um descent and then banging the table and talking to him like he was some small child. The disrespect was so deep that I thought I had to um, talk about it. And, and I'm, I'm imploring you to go back and look at that interview. It was only last week. And see the kind of behavior in 2023. And you try and say in the comments, what reason? I don't care if you're European, African, Asian, whatever you are. Give me the reason that, some, that this man would get so angry at somebody making a suggestion that reparations should be paid and a gesture should be made. How can you, how, you it, it's, it's, it's boggles the imagination that somebody who claims it happened 400 years ago and it's nothing to do with them could get so angry about somebody just as being a suggestion to a president, to a sitting president, a man who is a democratically elected. This little upstart, and I have to call him an upstart, he's nothing, well, he's, he's, a, he's a nobody. He's, a no, he's an absolute nobody. Just because somebody's given him a program where he can go and talk to people. You don't talk to presidents like this. 
You don't talk to prime ministers like this. You don't talk to people in official like this. And you certainly don't go around banging tables as if if the guy was in a, in, if the guy was face to face with you. Because it was a, it was a you know a telecast. If it was face to face with you, God knows what he would have, what what he would have broke, broke out into. Unbelievable. But I love when these guys show their true colours. Because all of those people who have been saying for years, you know, there's people like myself, we're taking these things too seriously, and these people are not, these people have changed, and there's a lot of people who are, are more liberal and more. This is this is the this is the behaviour. This is the behaviour. I challenge anybody to find any in European interviewer to get to, to get that angry and to be banging tables, to make that kind of noise and banging tables, be that aggressive towards any European official anywhere at any time. And if, if that's the case, then I'll, I'll put it up and we'll make a, an interview. We'll make a, a, I'll make a video about that too. So just find it in the comments. You find that thing out there, show it to me, and I'll make, I'll, I'll make a, I wouldn't say a retraction. I'll say, okay, this has happened before. I've never seen it. And when it, when it happened, you, you felt the energy of this man. And you thought to yourself, this is the problem. He's grown up believing that he's great. And, he, and, and the way, because the Britons and the UK got great by legal means, by intelligence, by basic moral standards. He believes this. And when he's pointed out to him that it wasn't the case, he loses all control and loses all cool. Which is what you would expect from somebody who's finding out that he's not what he thinks he is and his people are not what they think they are. Anyway, take care. See you soon. Live for Love TV.